Under beautiful blue skies, next up, game number 20 in this first leg, Hong Kong, the hosts versus South Korea. Final pool match for them. Beautiful blue skies, they run out. To the wonderful tunes of ACDC. And Hong Kong, well, yesterday, Started out good, beat Thailand 22 points to 7 before being smothered 31-7 against Japan. And South Korea, well, they're still finding their way in sevens rugby. They went down to Japan 48-0, and then they went down to Thailand 24-12, scoring themselves a couple of tries in the, in the process. Natasha Olsen-Thorne, the skipper, she's been magic. A couple of tries to Aggie Poon in 12, top try scorer for the Hong Kong side. Look out for Lee Ming Hoi, number six, one of the abrasive characters amongst the side. And they'll just be looking to continue building on their experiences as referee Hashimoto san from Japan prepares to get us underway here. Final pool match. Hong Kong will be hoping for a big win here, trying to take second spot in their pool. Thailand having just gone down to Japan. It'll come down to points difference, so they need to score lots of points, Hong Kong, to make the cup semis. And a early knock on there from the kickoff against the South Koreans. So a settling scrum for Hong Kong here. Number three there, you see Melody Lee on your screen. She was terrific yesterday on attack and defence. Really coming into some rich form. Very senior looking, very senior look about this Hong Kong selection. With Aggie Poon, Tushfold, and Austin Thorne out there. Here goes Melody Lee. She drags down Kim on the 22. Chan's on hand to fire that one away. There's Poon in 12. Yun Lok Yi in 10. And look at Natasha Olsen Thorne. She breaks the line. And she only knows one way, and it's the posts. That's a good start for the skipper and for Hong Kong. Oh, Natasha Olsen Thorne absolutely tore through that gap like there was rice paper there. Um, just hit back against the grain of the defence. Nice wee angle. Here's the step. Boom, you see the hip square up. And they were pointing towards the black dot all the way. Not much of an effort on a tackle there. Maybe just that inside shoulder. She just had herself powerful run Olsen Thorne to set that move up there as her mother in the blue shirt proud mum and here they go again Hong Kong they've done well from the restart Melody Lee yesterday was superb from those restarts and she's started well again today here's Nam just has a look up there's another one of the veterans I remember she debuted in Qingdao sevens back in 2015 hasn't looked back three years now she's a senior player a little knock on though there. The Koreans sticking to task. Ching Tao was when uh, Hong Kong actually won the cup. First time and last time. We've got some exciting talent coming up and getting into the picture at the moment, Hong Kong. Very fit squad. Good skills. Possibly a little bit out of the power at time. Here comes South Korea then. Their first effort. They make up some good ground. This is Guan Suji. Yes. Oh, that's yep. fantastic work yep. by Poon at the break down there. Too strong over the ball. Pops it up to Yoon. Takes a bit of flak. Secures it. And um, Melody Lee there. Yeah, she took an absolute bullet from a sniper there.
So good work from the South Koreans making their way downfield and then just taking a couple of Cross. steps backwards, wasn't she, Lee? Five. And uh, just Cut. dipped at the last moment, had a bit of top spin on it. <whistles> Going too early. Good to see these South Koreans growing in confidence. They came into it two sevens ago and really didn't have much to offer. They're starting to build something. Their skills, their ball skills are so much better than they were even in 2017, and that's great. Here's Kim Yuri. Hard working on defense here. That was Chan Chi Ching. And they managed to roll this over. Chosfold bullies the South Korean who stays down hurt. More defense from Olsen Thorne. And she picks that one up. Drags two with her to the 10 meter. It's a Korean down and back play. Lee out to Poon. Ranging wide there is Yuen. Good covering defense though. They're just defending with six players. They're into the 22. Yuen goes to ground. Poon's on hand. Tries to beat the spot tackle. Can't do it. Lee there, good work from her. And she gets up and bridges over the top of Olsen Thorne. Lee, good work from Melody Lee, very impressive. But around the chop says Hashimoto. And still, the Korean is in all sorts of agony back in the Hong Kong half. Well, Korea surviving that, and it's probably more to do with. Oh, what's going on here? I'm on out. And a mean bounce. Of the, they've got to finish this. Poon lines oh. them up and goes for the posts. Well, I'm just about to chastise Hong Kong for absolutely blowing the first attempt. All they had to do was show some enterprise and pass the ball, but no, it was one off, one off, one off. Then a missed touch. Ends with Aggie Poon scoring a try. Look at that. It's a long way to touch from the middle of the field. And that one just bounced on the point and instead of going over the touchline, popped back up. For Yuen, who fed the guy Wu Express for her third try of the tournament. So 12 nil Hong Kong. Counting down this first half. Chosfold with the well-measured restart there. She's put that one on the money. Maybe didn't quite get the height she wanted. Really attacking now the South Koreans. Poon gets a hand in there. I thought the first knock on was from Poon, but Hashimoto's got the arm out towards Hong Kong. Melody Lee just puts her head down as she's been doing all weekend. Uh, good steal there off the ground by Lee Min Hui in the peroxided white here. Olsen Thorne, can she get on the outside? Ah, good friend from Olsen Thorne. Straight into the chest of Hio. Try number two for her. It's a good captain's knock right on the hooter. Well, the ball literally being shoveled to Natasha Olsen Thorne. It arrived, it wasn't pretty. It was good quick hands in the end by Aggie Poon and then, well, there's not many more explosive than those opening strides of Natasha Olsen Thorne. 17 zip, kick to come, kick gone. They hit the break, 17 nil ahead of Korea. Takes Olsen Thorne up to four tries, just sitting in behind Susumi and Nakamura from Japan on five apiece. Aggie Poon took her third try there as well, so after seven minutes, time for some water, some ice, and a bit of a chat. Stinking hot down there. Thanks for joining us on the Facebook feed today. Leave some comments, support your side. And as always, if you're in Hong Kong watching this, come on down. You'll be locked inside tomorrow, the typhoon. You may as well get out, do some, <laughs> do some panic buying. Some pre-storm entertainment. And I suppose if you're unlucky, you might get caught in a lock-in. 
That's right, Stormies and LKF, well known for the Typhoon Lockins. Just been told they've closed down. Wasn't enough typhoons this season. Typhoons will be open, perhaps. There's food and beverage down here. You can get locked into the football club as long as someone will buy you a drink. So the triangle, they call it the, the training triangle. Here we go. Look at the wind there. Just absolutely uh, terrorising those look flags. So the, just by the utter stillness of the flags. You know something's yeah, coming, some, don't you? You, know, you just know that's not right. Nor, yes, we do have, of course, our own onboard meteorologist, Norman Way, and... When the gout starts playing up and the knees start locking up, that's when the big storm's coming. You know that. Norman, he doesn't often complain. In fact, he wouldn't shout if a shark bit him. But when the weather's no good. <laughs> and he is a, uh, he's a wonder to behold, is Storm and Norman. You can feel it in his bones, that's right. Chosfold with the good return there. The Valley veteran. Does well. Nam shoots one out to Yuen. She does the show and go. They're not going to catch her. Or maybe they will. Uh, she hears the footsteps of Hashimoto behind her. and Good breakout. And straight from the kickoff. Good work from Chosfold. And Yuen it is. It goes under the dots. And, well, look at that. Five Hong Kong players there to so give her a high five. <laughs> Now, the Koreans once beaten just the symbol back on the 10 meter line. That's fair enough. I mean, it's a hard game. It's hot outside. Would you run 60 meters to give a high five to your own player? Uh, oh, to one of my guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah no problem. You say that. Maybe if the Hooter had gone, you'd won the Rugby World Cup. He'd be happy to see me too, because I'd be carrying the water. <laughs> Look at that from Josfold. What a restart. Not sure what Shan was doing. She went up for it, but then she just batted it forward. Oh, the excitement machine, Poon Hoi An is on and seven. The back of the scrum there. Play three off, play three. On comes Jung, our Jung in five. Crouch. Off comes Melody Come Lee. Head. Good graft from her. Good nine minutes. Big push from Hong Kong, but the Koreans scoop it back very quickly. And now, inside their own 22, his heel throws a worm burner out to Guam. She's got the Hong Kong defense all over her. They've done well, though. They've really got some width. Have they got the passes, though, to match? Will that pop into the hands? It does. Second attempt, unlucky, unlucky for Hong Kong. It's a knock on. Very lucky for Korea. Well, Korea, people may be surprised to hear this, but they have made, they have come on leaps and bounds, this Korean outfit. And you may see their key playmaker, Lee, go with a short shock of blonde here. Just letting rip now on the right foot. If it really wasn't for Lee, this Korean team would be in quite a bit of trouble. Hey. Chong takes it nicely over the shoulder there. Catch of the match so far today. Catch of the day. Chosfold to Yuen. Looking now to give to Sham Wai some. She's got some pace, but uh, she gets wrapped up early by Hio. Chong gets mullered there. Chosfold there, change of tactics, pokes it through, little toe poke. Well read though by Guam. Turned and got back on that. Good 
work from her on defence. Hong Kong are going to have a line out here with about three minutes remaining in this match. A few more subs for Korea coming on. Shin and Beck in eight and nine. Hong Kong lead by 24. Golden opportunity here to put another nail in. Chosfold scoops it out to Chong and she's got some gas. A little change of pace there did enough because number seven, Guan, was matching her for speed. So good bit of skill there, evasive, to dot down for her first try in the tournament. Good skills, and it's all, oh, yeah, just a little snake eyes. And, well, Guan didn't look massively interested in the tackle anyway, to be fair. Here's the ball out wide again. Just checks the step. Guan. No, oh, that's just an experience in the game, really. That was a good, clean shot. Could have been thrown in there very, very early on by Guan to stop that move. Poon gets under that one with a pitching wedge, but uh, mistimed by the chasers. So South Korea with a minute and 50 seconds. Two minutes to do something. That one straight at the knees there, not very sympathetic. Here's Pink. And she throws an absolute bullet herself out to Chan, who has to trudge across and watch it go across the sideline. A little a little bit aggressive from Poon there, just going full noise. Well, five foot four going on six foot seven. <laughs> Out of your screen there, but Chan gets the ball thrown at her head by her own player. Commonly known as a, as a falcon in the industry. Big game up next, actually. Japan versus China. Men's side of the draw. Stick around, folks. Here goes Poon, darting through the gap. Gets those legs going and just jogging after his Hio rather casually. She's, she showed on the sideline, though. Is it enough to pull her in? Cavalry comes in the shape of Lee. Stephanie Chan, good play by Hong Kong. At the sham, steps in nicely, puts the fend on, and that's a classy finish. Sham by some. Did particularly well there, Hong Kong. Late in the game, everyone's a bit tired. The win's already been confirmed, but good skills out in front, confidence, the big fend. Don't you love it when it opens up like that? So, Hong Kong, conversion attempt. It's all going the right way for a wee while. And in the end, it is the home side. Hong Kong defeating Korea, 34-0. Day two of the Asia Rugby Seven Series here in Hong Kong. Leg one in Hong Kong. Leg two will be in Korea. Three will be in Sri Lanka. And there's our final score. Live from the Hong Kong Football Club. Look at those couple of clouds starting to gather now. And if we go back to the flags, you'll see there's been a certain change of the attitude of the 